Hi family, how are you? I hope y'all are doing fantastic. I am well. I pulled a few cards on the energy last night and I got really tired and decided to save it for this morning. This seems like an important message, so I didn't put it away. And this is definitely a very specific message um, for a certain group of people, <laughs> probably chosen ones. But anyways, first card out is Three of Pentacles works. You're in contract with God. Um, you're working for God, Prince of Pentacles. You're a very hard worker. There's a bull on this. Um, you push through everything that gets in your way. And this contract that you've been set up with, with God, is literally to take down an inverted ma magus, the inverted magician. And I'm getting the feeling that this is fallen angels <laughs> inhabiting human bodies. Now, I don't know if they incarnated in the bodies originally or if they are step-ins. It's probably a little of both because a lot of humans have given up their souls um, by refusing to heal, which makes their bodies easy to inhabit by these um, fallen angels. These fallen angels are <clears throat> a lot of the people that have been coming at you with magic that have been attacking you, inverted night of wands but this is no like kitchen witch <laughs> this is somebody that was once one of us an angel i don't know what made them switch to develop their soul so much and then get turned around like that. I don't want to know, but it is surprising to me in a way. Um, but regardless, this contract that you've been working on, you may know about it. You may not, you may just, it may just be in, ingrained in you. Um, has been to get these fallen angels to surrender. Another three. Three, three. And you're in alignment to do this at this time. Let's get some more cards. At the bottom of the deck, I have self-love. You're in alignment to do this at this time because you manage to love yourself. He and heal. Um, <clears throat> you're about to reveal or you've been revealing the people that are not strong-minded in the face of danger. Um, okay. So I guess that's what happened to these fallen angels. They were faced with danger and they weren't strong-minded enough to keep it together. So they fell. And they've been um, disgruntled about it ever since. <laughs> They're mad they screwed up. But instead of changing, they just have been making things worse. Two of Wands. 
your plans for the future have the new world in mind. A new world where fallen angels just aren't welcome. You have to get up first. You have to surrender to God and start your ascension. You have to stop the dissension. It's an easy fix is what I just heard. You surrender to God. Six of Wands inverted. Your plans failed. <clears throat> you failed. All fallen angels, I'm speaking to you. <laughs> Your plans failed. It's time to surrender. You're going to be famous for being a failure if you don't surrender. Could be an air sign involved here. As I told you, these fallen angels are inhabiting human bodies with astrological signs. <laughs> um, I don't, I think they're so insignificant because um, everybody pretty much has every sign in their chart and most people don't know their birth charts. <clears throat> So it kind of doesn't hit home unless you know your birth charts and you know the birth chart of everybody that we're speaking about. And I guarantee you, you don't. I mean, I guarantee I don't. I'll say that. I don't care that much about them. And who's to say that the birth date and the birthplace is even correct? With all of the lying, cheating, scheming, fraud, um, that's been going on. Who's to say that was even your place and time of birth? <clears throat> Inverted lovers, <laughs> right next to the air sign. Um, there could be, <laughs> right after I say this about the signs, um, a Gemini that's a fallen angel here that needs to surrender. Um, it's really the only choice unless you want to continue your descent and you're already mad about descending so stop it surrender to God take accountability and surrender and the rest is ascension from there you stop the dissension, you start your ascension. You have to surrender to God. It's the only way. Um, five of Cups. There's a lot of regret, chosen ones. There's a lot of regret amongst the fallen angels right now. Now that they see the defeat, they regret all the effort. All the evidence is what I just heard. They regret all the evidence that they've generated by coming after you. Well, they weren't able to stop your um, your progress towards coming towards a soulmate or, you know, coming towards your soul family. They were trying to put a death to your productivity and your ability to come together with people in general. 
They wanted you so like traumatized that you wouldn't even speak to others. But that didn't work. Um, they, okay, they thought you were like them. They thought if you, they if they faced you with enough things to make you fearful that you would start to descend, that you would uh, give up your surrender to God, love. You have plans to bring more love into your life, real love, unconditional love. All right, so somebody wants to confess. About a spoiled honeymoon. Or, I don't know, if they want to confess about something they spoiled. That they're about to be famous for. What is this? They're nervous. They're nervous about this confession. Could be this Gemini. <clears throat> or air sign. Or any sign, like I said. But if spirit points it out, I gotta say it. I mean, what else am I gonna do? Anyways. <clears throat> Inverted to a pentacles. Uh, apparently, they've got a little too many balls in the air right now. They're not able to juggle. And it's making them very nervous. And they're thinking of confessing about spoiling your love relationship, it looks like. Or at least spoiling your ability to have love in your life. Something like that. Inverted page of swords. This person's still watching you. Still spying. <clears throat> um, they probably make themselves known to you in some way. You probably know about this. Um, they're not easy, or they're not hard to pick out. That's what I was trying to say. They used to, it used to not be easy, but this, this game is so old that it's like, um, it's like Monopoly. If you've played it a few times, you know how to win every time. Or, um, what's another one that you can win every time if you know how to play it? Um, tic-tac-toe. <laughs> You know, chess is another one. Um, if you know how to play, you can win every time. Unless you find someone that knows how to play better, but chess is a very detailed game. <clears throat> I love that game. It, it is a lot like life, isn't it? Um... Okay, so I'm being shown checkmate. We're at a point of checkmate in the game. So when you hit checkmate, the, the piece that is going to take out the king isn't currently on top of the king. It's in the place right before. There's no place the king can move. There's no move on the board left for the king to not get killed in the next move. That's where we're at. That's what spirit just told me. It's checkmate. It's time to surrender. I mean, do we ha really have to make the last move? Inverted, um... Three of Swords. There's another three. 
333. Um, you're in divine alignment. You're in the perfect position to defeat these fallen angels. However many of them you have in your life. I don't know. I don't know how many there are. I didn't ask. Some things I don't want to know. Um. <laughs> Anyways. Inverted Six of Cups. <clears throat> this person who is very nervous and who's thinking of confessing to you is somebody um, quite likely from your family. Um, it could be a very close friend that you considered family. Ooh, somebody's very nervous, though, because they have done you so wrong. Divorce, inverted. Whatever love relationship they were trying to prevent you from having, they're not going to be able to. What's meant to be will be. Whatever will be, will be. The future is lost, you see. Sarah, Sarah. I don't know why that came up, but <laughs> um, yeah, you lost. It's time to surrender. Whatever will be, will be. Your future is lost, you see. So it's time to surrender to God. Or you're going to be left out in the cold. The door is going to shut. And you're not going to have an, another opportunity for a long time. Um, inverted five of pentacles. <clears throat> and I just saw this upright. They wanted you out in the cold. They wanted you homeless, hungry. No friends, no family. And they basically accomplished this. If not all of those things, many of those things on that list, they checked off. But for a lot of us chosen ones, they've done it all. All of it they've accomplished. And this is what they're facing right now. Except for they're not going to have God to make sure that they survive it. And it's a cruel world out there. It, as we know. <laughs> Self-indulgence. I mean, how happy is your self-indulgence making you anyway? Really? Because the things that the fallen angels are indulging in are things like substances, alcohol, see, out in the cold, five of pentacles. Um, some have SEX addictions. Um... These things that the fallen angels are self-indulgent in are not really satisfying in the end. It's a barbed hook. Those things aren't of God. About to be a rude awakening, fallen angels. It's checkmate. It's checkmate to those who refuse to transform. 
the light is showing on you. All is seen. It's the end. It's the end of this. The death card. It's the end of you trying to break chosen ones. <laughs> it's time to surrender. Save your soul. Come on, you were close to God and love once. You're obsessed with chosen ones. You can't get enough. Why don't you join our team? You'd be very valuable to our team. On that note, I'm going to let this let this um sit for a minute. It was kind of an intense reading. I love you, family. I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you.